Hello, and welcome back to what's bubbling a zim I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we are happy to announce the launch of ZimCat03. Woohoo! So let's take you through some of the site changes that we've made during this update. Here we are at Zim at zimjs.com. Now, one thing you can see is our cat is blinking at us. Blink, blink, blink. And not only that, when you reload the page here, reload, it opens up and it says pet Aomi. Aomi is the name of the cat. What we found is half the people didn't realize you could click on the cat and expand open this section. If you've been following bubbling videos, I'm sure uh, you figured that out by now. But people coming to the site were missing, uh, missing that. And we have taken cat out of the the gold bars down here at the bottom because we added a map and we were started starting to run into room space we had initially had 10 all of the new things in zim 10 were here then when we launched cat we showed all of the new things in zim cat here now that we've launched cat a little bit uh, we've moved that to the news so under news there's now a full page right here on all of the cat things. Oh, we're getting a call. Oh, well, <laughs> we're busy. We're busy doing a bubbling. That call will have to wait. So there's all the new things. And we're going to take a look in some bubblings at these new things as, um, you know, when we get there. Right now, we're taking a look at the new things in the site. So um, we've moved cat out of here and we've added a map. Why don't we show you the map? Ooh, so here is a site map which was requested and it's a little bit different I suppose what we've done is we put all of our sections so here are the main sections of the site here are the links behind the banners here's all the links that are in the news including that cat here's all the links that are in the about section in the examples section. We didn't put all examples in there, but we put examples that are kind of like mini sites. In a sense, particles will link through to a mini site on the emitter. Flare links through to a, a, a mini site uh, there. Or uh, is that only an example? So some of these are examples of types of uh, like sort of specific launchings within Zim of things, but other ones, physics is a mini site, uh, beads is a mini site, the quiz is a mini site of a bunch of quizzes, bits is not really a mini site, it's a max, maxi site. So these things, accessibility, sound wave, they all have multiple links in behind them. So we try to bring up the, the examples that have more examples within them, for instance. Um, here we have the learn section, and so the various things in the learn section. The tools, uh, the code. Oh, right. Not tools, codes. So these are the things in the code section. Now, this is one big long page with a whole bunch of links on it. And that's great. They're very visual and stuff like that. So you, you've got the code page with all of the uh, you know icons showing. But there's also this site map now. And what uh, our intention is, is you can press on the plus over here. Say you like to uh, go to one of these things, like the Zim Base Shapes example a lot. You can go plus, and it's now been added. Uh, just to finish off the scrolling, there's the stuff on the docs leading into the various modules. Here's the dev site, the gold bars links, and then our community. So any one of those you can hit the plus on, and when you do, it gets added to your saved favorites all in one place. So there's the, the shapes, and we could click on that, and it will, oh, <laughs> yikes, maybe I'll reset that. <laughs> Looks like I've been playing it sometime. This is in base. It, it allows you to make, oh, it wasn't even me that was playing necessarily. That could have been somebody on the internet made that lovely, <laughs> lovely scribble. So this is saved. If I go like that with a big bump going up there, if you go to this, unless somebody else has changed it, you'll see that big bump up there as well. Anyway, that's the idea. There they are locally now. And did I refresh this? I refresh. Ah, there we go. Uh, that's better. So it was taking a cache version. We just adjusted this so that these are a bit lighter down in here, and the main parts that we want to be looking at are in darker. Uh, there is a question. Why, if we're under sites, why do we put site, site, site in front of it? Well, 
uh, and banner, 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 news, news, news. Well, we start getting into subsections as well, and even sometimes sub subsections. Uh, there, there are some cases of that uh, here is code, library, sockets, etc. And uh, also these lists get quite long. So by the time I get down in here, I forget which section I'm in. So we just decided to put the section names in front like that. And that way, when we store them, when we hit the plus up there, we also get the section names come along with them so that they're saved. This was a pretty neat uh, arrangement done with uh, you know, local storage in HTML to make this work nice and easily. You're welcome to look at the code behind that. Do you like our little sitemap hierarchy uh, indication? So <laughs> this it'd be nice to lay it out in a hierarchy, but I think we'd, we'd run into problems. Also, our site isn't all that deep, you know, um, and I sort of, it was a little bit strange to be asked for a sitemap in the first place because there's only six sections and, and uh, I suppose a few extras. However, in doing it, I, I suppose it worked out all right. You know, that, that's uh, maybe, maybe we want a map because there are whoop, 208 links. You know, maybe that's why. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff on the site, right? So anyway, there's, there's our map. What else have we done with the site uh, aside from petting Aomi there? Ooh, are you ready? Here was another request. We go into docs and the docs now have a bright uh, bright mode. So here's the bright mode and a dark mode. Woohoo! Bright mode and dark mode. And also we've done um, code syntax coloring on the examples. So the examples have color code syntaxing now. And here's the light mode color code syntax it just takes <laughs> takes a little while to get used to ah, whoa um, okay so and, and we've also added the subsections here so we can jump right down to the methods like so and open up any of the the methods and we'll see code syntax coloring and there you go so Opening as well, opening and closing, we've adjusted slightly. If I open SIS for size, it jumps so that size shows up here at the top. Not quite the top. We did have a question as to why we don't make it go like that. So size is right at the top. Well, then this bar right here gets in the way. Let me show you an example with the color picker, for instance. If this were uh, right up at the top like that, then our bar gets in the way of those. So when we when we choose something, radial menu, uh, we open up so that this search bar is like just up above these parameters. There you go. And we've also made it so that you can search now. So if I go control F like that and look up hierarchy, hierarchy, there is the normal browser search. Um, so there you go. We had a request to, to do that. How do we get rid of that normal browser search? Escape. There we go. The, the normal browser search may not be as quite as handy as you think. It doesn't open up all of the insides of here because if you searched for something like color, there'd be a thousand colors in here. And it's just, yeah, there you go. If you do want to do a full test search uh, or full text search, go to the full text search. Um, so that's, or here's, here it is right here, text. So the Zim Docs is provided in a text form, and then you can do a full set, full text search anywhere throughout the docs. All right, so uh, also the updates page right here has been adjusted to include code syntax coloring and a little bit of an improvement, I guess, on the sections here. So this is ZimCat 3, there's part one is on style improvements, which is pretty cool. Maybe what we should do is at some point in our bubbling, come through here and take a look at these updates. Effects, and again, the color syntaxing in the effects. This is about the arrow, the slider, the layout, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the updates have been sort of visually improved and also work in the light mode and dark mode format. So as you go across to the docs here, and we put a little bar up in the top here, if we go to the docs, we're in light mode. If we change to dark mode and we go into the updates, then we're in uh, dark mode. Go back to the docs, choose light mode. <laughs> Can we do it? Choose light mode and then hit the updates. We're in light mode. Whoa, yay! 
Yay. So that's what's bubbling with respect to the updates to the sites. Did we catch everything there? I think we did. We're, we're adding more examples to the inside here as well. So make sure that if you haven't seen these around in a while, you might want to come in and check out some more examples in industry and so forth. Uh, don't forget when you come in here as well, there's a more section. As far as I know, we haven't added to the more section, but the more section, some people miss the more section, and there's a lot of uh, information in the more section as well. Yay! And then our start Zim goes to the intro, so recall that we have Zim intro as well. All of the footers down here have been updated to 2021, and also to include our map right here as well as Discord. So Discord is a new place where you can come and chat and hang out, perhaps a little less formal than than uh, the, the Zim Slack. So you're welcome to find us on Slack too. Many of you have already, zimjs.com slash Slack, but we're also zimjs.com slash Discord down here. We've added Medium. We haven't added our Dev. Um, we've got Dev articles. I don't even think we added them to the Dev site. So here's the Dev site itself. And down at the bottom, we have boop, 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 our Medium articles. Uh, but we've also started working at zimjs.com slash, <laughs> I don't know if it gets there, slash dev, does it? We're dev.to slash zimlearn or something like that. Let's see if I can find it quickly. So dev.to, well, that'll probably get me there anyway. And Dr. Abstract is at ZimLearn. So yeah, dev.to slash ZimLearn. And we have a bunch of articles on dev as well. These are sort of faster articles. And we're trying to capture the imagination of some of the dev, uh, the dev world out there. So here's making a form in on the component uh, on the canvas. So showing a bit of code and how we bind and there's code for a stepper and how we can style on the canvas and this is what it all looks like. So we're building, trying to build community there. <laughs> Come on in if you're on dev.to. Please find us at uh, dev.to slash zimlearn, which is the same uh, ending URL that we use, I think, in Twitter and maybe on YouTube as well. Okay. Uh, cheers, and we'll see you for the next bubbling. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. Come and join us on that Discord, zimjs.com slash Discord or zimjs.com slash Slack if you haven't already. And have a great day or night. Cheers. Look forward to the next bubblings. <laughs>